Jerry? Yeah, I, I feel that operating expenses are, there's a big difference between operating expenses and capital items. And I think operating expenses, when they come in here and they explain their line items, if there's an increase in the line item, it's sufficiently backed up in their backup data. It's backup data is not missing or is inadequate. And they adequately describe why the increase took place. I'm okay. Yeah. It's when an adequate rationale is not displayed and the backup information is not there or is totally inadequate. That's where I'm in favor of reduction. Mm -hmm. So it's on how that budget is prepared and reviewed before it comes in here. Mm -hmm. And that really mm -hmm. relates to visibility that we've brought so many times up in the past. And a perfect example of that was one department having this uh, radio maintenance account. Remember that? Yep. And we, they acknowledge they don't have any radios, but they're funding lawn care and all kinds of other stuff in this radio maintenance account. Mm -hmm. This lacks visibility. All right, and that's the kind of thing we need and what Jerry's calling for when he says background. I think it's basically visibility. Once things are visible, they're likely to be approved. But when they're not, that becomes a problem for a number of people. Nick, one thing that we have to remember, and I'm going to throw this out, not as a buzzkill, but because it's reality, is there is only so much money mm -hmm. that this town is going to give you. Yeah. The voters are going to give you. Um, last year felt like it was a little bit of a whiplash, but quite honestly, they wouldn't give us 300000 the year before. Mm -hmm. So looking at $2 million, it wasn't going to happen. And you have to keep that in the back of your mind. Yes, we can substantiate everything line by line by line and say, yeah, that's great, we'd like to have it. But will they give it to us? No, and that's one opportunity that you have mm -hmm. with a Warren article. And you know, when you have a Warren article, you gotta sell it. And I'll, as an example, I'll tell you both ponds, pond issues that none of us started last year with in the front of our brain, but you know what? There was a hard sell and a hard push and the people that want them got them. Um, so you, you kind of have to look at it that way, too. And, you know, going back, um, because of the way last year happened and we came in on more of a severe note than we had a couple, for, for a few years, mm -hmm. we're looked at one way in this group. But, you know what, there's people sitting here at this table right now that goes back, you weren't here, I don't think, mm -hmm. goes back to the fireboat that... Oh, yeah. The fire department needed because they were going out there in a little rubber tub. I mean the and, Navy. Huh? Half the Navy. And yeah. we were sitting here saying, well, the Coast Guard will be here. Let me tell you, that was one hard-fought battle that the fire department got because the members on this budget committee did battle. We, bat we yelled, screamed, and hollered back and forth on this floor. So we can do that, too. No. And probably, you know, the biggest thing, like you're, you're opening that door, and I think... Um, by asking that question, you don't know that part of us yet that says, please, bring it to the table. We, we can't judge it unless you educate us. And you've led me to a position that I'm going to take the opportunity of right now. We seem to have <clears throat> a problem with asking the Board of Selectmen, or need, I should say needing to ask the Board of Selectmen, to have department heads come in. The value of having department heads come in, the value of having our members work even on subcommittees sometimes with those department heads is that they educate us and we advocate those needs. That happens more often than the opposite scenario of us spending time and us taking their heads off. The more information that we have, SAU was again, SAU 90 was a case in point. The more time we spent with SAU 21, the more convinced we were that we would get a better bang for our dollar, all right, by forming our own SAU 90. And that has proven itself, and they come in with a great budget and they adhere to it. So um, some of the fallacies here and, 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 and some of the things that people think will happen by getting together and exchanging this information actually works um, historically to just the opposite effect. So I'm sorry to throw that commercial in there, but you gave me the opportunity and I wanted to show we have a value for listening to that. 
Sonny? Yeah, well, uh, what Nick, I think, was talking about is the capital improvement program. The CIP, if a department has a need that they want to have addressed, they put it in the CIP. The CIP is the plan, but we don't fund it, and well, that's inherently that's, the problem. That's part thing. of the problem. That's yeah. part of the problem. We don't fund the CIP, yeah. so we come up with the plan, and it's only if... And then the numbers don't add up anyway, so... Jerry? Anything? No, I mean... Perfect example of Tim Bromper's radio maintenance. I'm looking at winter sand. I asked last year there was no oh, budget. You wouldn't went to nothing sand. spent. Here it is. We budgeted thirteen thousand eight seventy seven this year. Jerry likes the problem. Zero. <laughs> zero spent on sand. Where is that money being spent on it? Well, I know we're buying it. <laughs> Where was it? I know we're buying sand. I see it all over the road. You know what? If you guys have questions on particular items from this point on, because now we're we're getting into the budget it will do like last year if you have a question on a particular line in the budget send it to me and I'll send it along in a group once a month for the next meeting <clears throat> to um, finance and and department heads get some answers like we did last year I can't give you one on that one I think the issue Jerry was raising was the issue of account Accounting visibility. I get it. It wasn't raising <laughs> the question about whether the money spent or why it isn't spent. Or it, the question was about accounting visibility, which keeps keeps coming up, keeps coming up. And as Selectman Bean said two months ago when he gave us his little uh, speech on process, we're not going to be allowed to get into accounting visibility. We must remain uh, blind to accounts. Well, I, I would interject into that if there is... This would seem logical to me. It isn't. If we have a question on a line, we should ask the question, get an answer. If you don't get an answer, you, you have the it's right not, to vote accordingly. It's to not about questions. It's, well, a, it's about whether or not the accounts are descriptive in terms of how the money is uh, taken from there for expenditures. That's what it is all about. Mm -hmm. It's not about... You know, we wouldn't have so many questions if the accounts were, were descriptive as to what they were being used for. Well, let's try the route where if there's a specific question, while well, we're still early on in the budget, because I'd rather ask them now um, than when we get into the, each department, then forward them to me and let's see if we can get a little bit more visibility here. Fair enough? <laughs> 